Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. In this video we're going to take a look at the Micronauts Baron Kaza with Magno Power Action and Firing Fists and his sidekick Horse Andromeda with Magno Power Action Firing Missiles. So first up let's take a look at Baron Kaza. So here we have the uh, Baron Kaza box and as you can see on the front it says that you get Baron Kaza with his Magno Power Action and Firing Fists and Missiles and that Baron Kaza is the leader of the evil Acro Year enemy of the Micronauts. As you can see we have a couple of Micronauts here standing guard just in case he jumps out of the box and attacks them. Now Baron Kaza is a pretty cool figure and uh, they're getting harder to find at a decent price. I managed to pick these uh, both of these uh, figures up off eBay fairly recently for a pretty good deal uh, but they tend to go for quite a lot of money uh, you can get lucky and just uh, get them you know on a buy it now option which is what I managed to do with this set and these are particularly good really nice boxes and absolutely mint contents now with Baron Kaza the Micronauts that were released in the UK and US they were a mishmash of a few different toy lines the little figures you can see here are part of the Micro Men toy line which was a Japanese toy line and Baron Kaza comes from another toy line that uh, was never released with M Micro Man in Japan it it comes from a toy line called Katsuo Jig or Steel Jig, completely different toy line but they decided for Micronauts to blend these two toy lines together and use them all in the same sort of setup. So let's take a look at uh, Baron Kaza, we'll open the box and see what we get inside. As you can see inside the box you get uh, not only the figure, you get a few little accessories and extra bits and also some spare missiles and fists so uh, we'll take Baron Kaza out of the box and you can see him in his full glory. As you can see, Baron Kaza really stands quite a lot taller than the normal Micronauts time traveller figures. He's about six inches tall and he's also pretty weighty, he weighs quite a bit. And the reason for that is because of his main call feature, which is the magnets and uh, little firing missile bits. So first up is the magnets. All of the limbs are held on with uh, magnets inside the body, so you can pull off the arms, the head, and the legs. Now this means that you can do some pretty cool things because first off we can just pull off his arms and swap them for where his legs are which is uh, the sort of thing that you would do as a kid but it also means that uh, you can add extra bits to him and that's what uh, these little extra bits are that come within the box of him. So uh, on the back he's got some missiles, these don't fire these ones, these are just uh, sort of uh, things that stick in uh, little holes on the back but you can take these off, we can then add these little metallic sort of ball bits to them if I do both of them like so you can then start to replace different bits of Baron Kaza so let's pull off his legs you can now replace his legs with missile legs that's a pretty cool thing uh, obviously he doesn't stand up when those are added but it is a uh, quite a nice cool feature he also has firing fists if I just turn him around and fire his fists at the wall here you'll see they fire quite nicely or well, I managed to kill a time traveller with that fist. He also has a firing missile in the centre of his chest and this is pretty vicious. I'm probably actually going to get hit if I fire this out the wall as you can see there. I did. I have no idea where that went. It's fired off across the room. The Baron Kaza figure itself is fairly sort of simple in its construction and the uh, sculpting is fairly minimal. It sort of matches with the uh, Micronauts, uh, Time Travellers and other vehicles but really I would say that the sort of style is a little bit more primitive than uh, what they, they managed to do with these smaller figures. So you can, you know, from, a, from hindsight you can clearly see that these are two toy lines uh, blended together but as a child I never really thought that because uh, they use the same sort of construction techniques and the same size of pinholes and pegs so that you can add different bits of other vehicles and other ships together with uh, this uh, toy so it sort of uh, never really crossed my mind that uh, this toy was nothing to do with the other figures in the collection but it does look pretty nice. So as you can see, Baron Kaza is actually a pretty cool figure. The uh, addition of the little magnetic bits means that you can do some pretty nifty little bits with him. And uh, when I get Andromeda out of the box and show you that, you'll see the final extra gimmick that Baron Kaza has, uh, where the two figures mould together to make a new figure and that is probably the best feature of this thing. So let's take a look at Andromeda. Next up we have Andromeda with Magno Power Action Firing Missiles and it clearly says here Baron Kaza's Star Stallion. Uh, if you turn the box around on this one you can see that uh, the stallion 
comes with a few extra bits and wheels and on the bottom you can see him blended with Baron Carza which is the most exciting thing you can do with this toy so we'll open this one up and we'll see uh, what he looks like inside one little thing to notice on the boxes that I should have shown you on the Baron Carza box that these are clearly UK releases of the Micronauts because right in the bottom hand corner it says Airfix uh, these were produced by Mego or Mego as uh, the Americans like to call it I like to say uh, Mego here in the UK uh, but uh, in the UK they were released under the Airfix branding inside the box you get lots and lots of bits you get the main horse here and then a whole bag of extra stuff uh, the weird thing that I've always thought with this uh, toy is that when you take uh, the horse out of the box that the horse's hooves are not actually on the feet they are separate little items in this bag uh, which is why they're quite often lost because uh, putting it back away again you'd have to take the feet off and they're quite small and so easily lost over time anyway let's put uh, this uh, horse together and we'll see it in its full glory so here we have Andromeda in the stallion form. As you can see, it's quite a large toy. It still towers over the two time travellers I have here. And if I bring in uh, Baron Carza, you can see that these are actually quite in scale with each other. Again, it has the magnetic uh, magno power action on these side little uh, missiles here. You can see these have uh, balls and there are magnets inside that hold these in place. The head also hides some more sort of magnetic areas, although this head is actually clipped in place rather than held on by magnets. And you can uh, rotate the arms well, and legs a little bit like so. Otherwise, it feels pretty basic, this toy. Uh, it feels a lot cheaper, actually, than Baron Carza does. There's uh, less weight to it, and the plastic seems a little bit cheaper. But then again, we have this whole bag of extra stuff so that we can uh, put wheels on it. So let's do that, and we'll see what he looks like in his sort of car slash horse mode. And here he is in his sort of stallion chariot mode. As you can see, I've now attached the wheels to him. Uh, and it's a sort of strange mixture of horse and car. Very weird, but uh, I guess quite a cool little gimmick. The fact that you can take these toys apart and different bits of them pop off and can be attached to other areas does make for uh, quite a nice sort of play experience for a child. Right, I'm going to put this back into horse mode so we can do the cool thing, which is join these two together and form Baron Carza and his stallion as an evil centaur. So this for me is what these two toys are all about. Here we have Andromeda and you can see I can pull his head off and we're left with a headless horse. But if I bring in Baron Carza and pull off his legs, like so, I might have to take off the backpack as well, I can drop him on top there and we end up with a centaur. Now that is a pretty cool toy. Again, it's all because of these magnets and actually if we wanted to, we could pull off the magnetic side bits here and clip on the legs to give him some sort of extra weird legs on the side. But that's what this toy is all about. The fact that it is magnetic and that you can unclip bits and clip other bits on. If we wanted to pull his arms off and replace them with missiles, we can and we can put the arms on the side of the horse like so. It's just a very versatile toy. The fact that you have these magnets and you can take bits off and add bits onto it uh, just makes for quite a good play experience. And there were other toys released in this line that had the same ability so that you could easily pop bits off and on. But obviously the main two that I had as a kid were these uh, Baron Cars and Andromeda. And I used to play with this a lot and I'm really glad that I managed to find it again. I'm going to look out for the white version with the sort of good version of these as well so that my Micronauts are not so uh, badly battered by the evil Baron Carza. These toys for me are some of the better Micronauts ones just because of the playability and the added options that you have using the magnets. And they're ones that I really do remember having a great time with as a kid. So uh, finding them again and being able to play with them again, even though I'm over 40 now, it's brought back some great memories and I really do like these toys. They're certainly worth picking up. If you can find the box, all the better. The boxes are quite nice just because the artwork is good and it's fairly uniform in the, in the way they look. So having a collection of box Micronauts figures does look quite nice. And also little time travellers and stuff are excellent toys uh, and they're easily fixed. All of these things come apart quite easily so you can hunt down parts and repair them with quite a lot of ease. As I say, sometimes prices can be a little bit high, but you can get lucky, especially on eBay. Sometimes people don't really know what these are, so you can still pick them up for good, a good value. And so certainly worth adding to any collection. I hope that review has been of interest to you, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Polloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Polloi on Twitter and Facebook.